Do you want to know a cool, fun, and interactive way to level up your live streams, recordings, and virtual conferences? Welcome to Feature Friday. This is the series where we show you how to use some of the coolest features inside of Ecamm Live. Today, we're going to cover a commonly asked question about Ecamm. People often ask, do we have visual filters for Ecamm Live? By visual filters, they're talking about lenses as they're known as Snapchat or filters as you see in an Instagram story. Well, it turns out the company that makes Snapchat makes a really cool utility that you can install inside of your Mac called Snap Camera. With Snap Camera, you can pull off really cool effects like enhance your appearance, add a little novelty, add an extra background, lots and lots and lots of things. These filters in Snap Camera are called lenses, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use it with Ecamm Live to level up your productions. Let's dive in. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is head on over to Snap Camera at snapchat.com. I will put a link in the description. You're gonna click the yellow button to download Snap Camera and just double click to install. This is Snap Camera. Here inside the Snap Camera interface, I'll show you how to install some of these lenses, but before we do that, let's take a look at the settings. This is the Snap Camera settings. You come in, you select your camera. I have my cam link there. You can say whether you want it to start up at the very beginning of your profile, flip any videos if you have a problem where your application doesn't show it up, and then you can check the other boxes as needed. I don't use a green screen, so I don't really need that, and I'm not sharing the snap codes, but mainly select your camera and specify whether you want snap cam to run every time you launch a computer. Once you have those two things set up, then all you need to do is come back, hit the back button, and here we are in Snap Camera. On the side here, you have lenses. Let's start with something, say, from the Work From Home collection. If I wanted to do something cool like this, it would just come, wait, hold on. That's a little goofy because, well, I have my hat, but I'll show you what it looks like in Ecamm in just a second. I can select any one of these filters, and they kind of take a quick image of your face, figure out where to put the filter, and they apply the filter. They have lots of categories, and they're often updating it for things like the holidays. So, for instance, during Christmas, I could have been a giant snowman, like such. Now, I'm going to show you how to work this into Ecamm. Here inside of Ecamm, in order to get this to work, all I need to do is select Snap Camera as my master camera in the camera selector. Here is my Camlink 4K, and here is my Snap Camera. I know they look the same, but watch this. As I come out of here, I'll pop out of demo mode real quick, and with a simple hotkey, I can put on my Snap Camera. I can toggle them on and off, switch in between them, this, I don't know why this one cracks me up. It looks like my sister. I can just, you know, do something really cool like this. A lot of fun, cool things that you can do with Snap Camera. If you're not the type of person to remember hotkeys, fret not, I'm gonna show you how to do it without hotkeys. Here inside of Snap Camera, you'll see I have the lenses that I selected as my favorites. If I wanted to add a new one here, like anime style, I can click on that and then add the little star, that adds it to my favorite section over here, and now my anime style is a button. What I would like to do is come over here, select on the little keyboard icon, come down to where it says enable a high key, and then I can do like a command a control Z, and now that works as a hotkey. So how I was triggering the hotkeys in order to activate the camera was I selected it here. So inside the Snap Cam interface, just press this little keyboard icon here, add hotkeys to your heart's content, and then now you have them. In case you missed it, last week we did the Stream Deck tutorial and we told you Stream Deck is just a keyboard. So you can probably add these hotkeys to the Stream Deck and a simple button press will also trigger your filters. <laughs> just that simple, add Snap Camera to your Mac, pick a couple filters that you like, add hotkeys if you want, and now you can use your filters inside of Ecamm whenever you want to. So if I decide I need to go out looking like my sister, 
unlike Donkey Kong. People, that has been another video. I am Doc Rock, your community manager here for Ecamm Live. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback for either me or my sister, drop them down in the comment section below, or you can send us an email at marketing at ecamm.com or support desk at ecamm.com. YouTube's going to show you a couple of videos that they think you should watch, and we kind of agree with them. <laughs>